Uh, so guys, stop, uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, today we are going to be looking at order blocks on Boom uh, on Crash 1000. But this information is applicable to almost all indices, synthetic indices. So we are going to be seeing how you you can take uh, entries, uh, we, uh, how this order block came about, and how you can spot such opportunities. So uh, I'm going to be explaining this order block. But uh, previously there was a lot that was going on, as my analysis shows here. So uh, what qualifies it to be an order block? Uh, this move, I'm talking about this move here. Down. So uh, let me first clear this. What qualifies it to be another block? As we can see, uh, this is the first opposite candle uh, against against uh, a, str uh, a strong uh, bullish candle. So, uh, in case uh, now this is, for instance, it could be the price could be uh, going down. Let's say you get an aggressive move, aggressive move to the downside. Then the first opposite candle. So this is the first opposite candle. Uh, against this one this this was uh, clearly a strong bullish candle uh, and then we get a strong uh, we get uh, a red a red uh, bearish candle here right here so this is the other block that i'm going to be explaining so we are on the daily time frame uh, so i've explained how this one qualifies to be another block but uh, there are a lot of factors that you consider here when uh, the first uh, the, there are a lot of factors you consider here to 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 spot such opportunities or to to hunt out for such opportunities so why do you need to refine order blocks because now i'm going to be explaining how to refine order blocks i don't advise someone taking orders right here entries here like here because we are going to see like on smaller time frames uh what was really going on in these candles these are uh, on a daily time frame there are 24 candles one hour candles uh, so we are going to be going refining by by refining i mean analyzing uh making analysis from top down i would advise uh, a top down analysis so uh for refining order blocks personally i use a top down analysis there are those who may use indicators but we are going to use a top down analysis so uh by uh let's first do this if i clear this and then I single out just this candle because we are considering this the first opposite candle the first opposite candle again is a strong uh, 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 bullish candle or a strong bearish candle so in this case this was a strong bullish candle so this is the first opposite candle so if we highlight it because now we want to refine this want to find this and we see where we take entries so if i let this candle just one candle like that and then we go on the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame we are going to see what was going on there so let me quickly so on the four hour time frame i think you can see i just highlighted the op first opposite candle the first opposite candle i don't think you could sustain a loss now i highlighted one candle but this was the the previous candle we, which we can see that was a strong bullish candle a, a strong yeah it was a strong bullish candle but then this is the red candle that i highlighted the bearish candle the first opposite candle so we are going to see how you can stay you, you can take sniper entries that's this is where you find sniper entries mm. so you find that on the forward on the daily time frame on the daily time frame if we go back oh shit so when we go back this was oh sorry uh, this is quite hard to, to highlight so this was a strong bearish candle as you can see there was a strong bearish candle but then we saw that on the four hour time frame this candle was already losing momentum and then we want to see how you can take entries at the top here entries at the top here i'll be uh, also including a, sh a screenshot of the move that i that i took uh so let's highlight again our our candle 
our can and then we go back on the on the four hour time frame and uh, as I explain more so uh-huh so we're on the four hour time frame so this is the candle that we've highlighted as you saw this is where the 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 market movers take out traders now someone thought that the market was now finally going down mm. this is where they take you out mm. this is where they take you out but now we can see that on the four hour time frame we get more confirmations as we refine the order blocks because now on the daily time frame you would take it would it w because the, the candle started right here then it went up but we can see that on the daily time frame it is an opposite candle it is a red candle it is a bearish candle so this is the beauty about refining order blocks so on the four hour time frame you wouldn't take that trade but on the daily time frame when you saw that the candle was red uh you would check the trade so this is the beauty about refining order blocks so on the four hour time frame it would require you to take uh, entries right here but we ca we are going to see further how it is also wrong we are refining we keep on minimizing because uh, most of us maybe would take entries around this region around this region on the four hour time frame so we are going to refine the, the order block further so we saw that previously on the daily time frame would take entries here would take entries here you cannot sustain this loss each candle here is representing four hours so i don't think you can sustain a loss uh from here from here around this region to this region you can't hmm? you cannot so we are refining the order block so we are going to go to manageable time frames li like 30 minutes 15 minutes or even five minutes so we are refining the order block so when we go on the hour time one hour time frame we are going to see this mm. we want to see this to get better entries mm. here is our order block as we saw that on the four hour time frame it would require us to take entries here but each candle here is representing it is representing one hour each candle here each candle here so you cannot still sustain a loss from down here mm. from down here up to here mm. so we can clearly see that uh, there are those who can take maybe if you have a strong account but i don't think there is any on uh uh on the four hour time frame so we can see that uh, for us retail traders it wouldn't be feasible for us so we go if it was one hour time frame if it was uh, on a one hour time frame we would wait for confirmations so on the one hour time frame there was there is a strong push up to the upside but then we get we get uh, a strong opposite candle here so personally if uh, if it was to take orders on the one hour we can clearly see that this is a strong bearish move you would take orders here and maybe place the stop loss uh somewhere if you on a one hour it would uh, it would be advisable if you are taking uh, uh, trades on the one hour to put the stop loss above this side but so now personally i would take entries here so we are going to see if I told we took entries in this region mm. so we are taking half of this candle would be taking uh, entries in, in uh, half of that candle so we go in the 30 minutes we are refining the order block because we saw that there is a massive move to the downside how you can scoop this profit so we go back Mm. all these candles that i'm scrolling through those are the sniper entries you would be on the sell you would be on the sell mm. those are the sniper entries so as we can see that we are on the 30 minutes so we are seeing the 
area where I would take entries. So on the 30 minutes, where would be the confirmation? The price came down, then the buyers tried to come in, and then you would take entries on this one. So I think you can see that on the 30 minutes, it's a bit feasible. Mm? Because if you're waiting for confirmations on the 30 minutes, we know we are going down. We observe the order block on the 4-hour time frame, on the daily time frame. But now on the 30 minutes, they're telling us to take the entries just up here. When you go back to the daily time frame, these are the weeks. This area is a week. So that's where you see that you take an, uh, you take, uh, an entry at the week of the candles but these entries uh, as uh, if you if you are to look critically you're going to find such opportunities even on 30 minutes so order blocks do not only occur on daily time frame so even within an order block there are other order blocks so there are bearish order blocks there are uh, bullish order blocks so the idea here is to how you can observe order blocks so on the 30 minutes it would be feasible for us to take a trade around here. So, as I said, uh, mo uh, mostly, uh, you can go further to refine the order block. You will find that, let's say, on the 15 minutes time frame, you're going to get a much better entry. So, that's what I would advise. But now, uh, at least now we've reached the 30 minutes where most people take entries or confirmations eh, for entries. So, uh, this is where it would be feasible to take uh, uh, an entry as opposed uh, as opposed to uh, previously if you're to back test very well we are, we are going to take uh, on the daily would you will take uh, the entries about right here you cannot sustain this loss waiting for the move to go down so that's the beauty about order blocks uh, so today I was trying to to explain how you can refine order blocks so order blocks are uh, personally i would advise most of for, for crash uh, for crash indices uh, boom and crash boom 1000 crash 300 all those ones you start from the higher 